Tyvee traveled to San Antonio on Friday night at familiar Comalander Stadium to take on Madison. This will be the third matchup in three years between these two teams. Madison beating Tyvee in 2008 in Comalander with Aaron Green setting a citywide touchdown record. And then they met again in 2009 at Tyvee's home stadium. The game was stormed out around halftime and didn't get to play that one through to completion. After a first possession punt by Tyvee, Madison began their drive deep in their own territory. Soon number 22 Troy Williams broke loose with this run. Uh, Official said he stepped out on the one yard line as he attempted a somersault into the end zone. But Madison was soon up 6-0 after a failed extra point. Tyvee goes back to work with Johnny Manziel finding Belford here to put Tyvee into the red zone. A little trickery on Tyvee's part on the five yard line as the snap goes to Marcus Villarreal who hands off to White, reverses it to Manziel who then finds Villarreal again in the end zone for Tyvee's first touchdown of the night. The Hunters are up seven to six but not for long. The first play of the drive is a 70 yard touchdown pass to number 11 Quincy Daniels. Madison would then go for two but fail, putting Madison up 12 to seven with 353 remaining in the first quarter. Into the second quarter we go as Manziel goes into the end zone over the pie line here. The Antlers convert on the two point conversion on the following play, putting Tyvee up by three with just under 11 minutes left in the first half. But Madison had an answer. Number 22 Troy Williams hurdles his way inside the five and Aaron Green punched it in to make it a 19-15 Madison ball game with 8.55 left in the half. But Tyvee also wants to score again. A nice catch here by number 10, Kaysen Forge set up this 12-yard touchdown pass to Sean Kibbett, putting Tyvee up 21 to 19, 717 left in the half. Tyvee and Madison would trade punts, but then Madison's Troy Smith would find the end zone again, putting Madison back on top 25 to 21. And that would be our halftime score, a full point, four point ball game on a beautiful night for football in San Antonio. Second half play, the Antler defense stuffs Madison on their first possession of the half, forcing a punt on three and out. Tyvee's offense wastes no time after getting their hands on the ball. Manziel hits Case and Forns on this 50-yard touchdown pass, capped off with a two-point conversion to put Tyvee up 29-26 early in the third. Later, with six minutes remaining in the game, Manziel finds Case and Forns on this 30-yard touchdown reception, putting the Antlers up by 10, 36-26. But Aaron Green is going to keep things interesting for Madison, taking the handoff going 85 yards for a touchdown with 5 minutes 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Madison elects to go for two, making it a 36-34 ball game. On their next possession, the Antlers can't manage to find the end zone, but Will Cowden nails this 35-yard field goal with 3.18 remaining in the game, putting the Antlers on top 39-34. Less than one minute remaining in the game. First down. Williams stops for no gain. Second down, Madison spikes it to stop the clock. On third down, incomplete pass to the end zone. Fourth and goal, 17 seconds left. Incomplete pass, sealing the game for Tyvee. All that was left is for Manziel to take a knee, and the Andlers win the game 39-34. Put a lot of hard work in. Our whole team has to uh, to make sure that that not just me, but we had a lot of other people catching the ball. And uh, I mean, we put a lot of work in, and it really pays off. We just got to do what we got to do, and, and uh, to give our kids a chance. And, and they did a super job. So I'm, I'm happy and pleased with everything we're doing.